Now, you know, I, I, I came to Pennsylvania. I wanted to come in the same week that President Zelensky from Ukraine came to Pennsylvania. And I, and I don't know if, if y'all noticed, but he came to campaign with the democratic leadership of this country. You know, we've spent, we, we've spent $200 billion on Ukraine. You know what I wish Zelensky would do when he comes to the United States of America? Say thank you to the people of Pennsylvania and everybody else. Now, you heard somebody back here say it, but I'm going to repeat it, but Donald Trump was the candidate of peace, the candidate who brought stability to the world for the first time, really, in my lifetime. We didn't have a new war started under an American president for the first time in 40 years. And, of course, the supporters of Kamala Harris say that Donald Trump was not the candidate of peace, and we know that he was the candidate of peace. He was the candidate of prosperity. He was the candidate of American citizenry and putting them first. Now, here's the thing. We have so many problems right now in the United States of America, but we got a lot to be thankful for. we got the most beautiful country in the entire world. I really do believe that. We've got... We've got natural resources, including right here in the state of Pennsylvania, great natural gas. Let's get it out of the ground with Pennsylvania workers. When Donald Trump is president, we are going to drill, baby, drill, and bring back the great American energy economy. And Kamala Harris. She is the candidate of not buying oil and gas from Americans and Pennsylvanians. Kamala Harris wants us to buy energy from every tin pot dictator all over the world. Kamala, we say, no way. We're going to buy it from our own people right here in the state of Pennsylvania. Now, here, let's just run through the, the Kamala Harris economic record. And I'm going to try not to depress everybody too much because Kamala Harris's economic record is depressing, my friends. We've got inflation at 40-year highs. We've got groceries that are 25% higher than Kamala Harris when she took office. And that's because Kamala Harris cast the tie-breaking vote on almost $4 trillion of new spending, printing money that we don't have to juice inflation and destroy the middle class in the state of Pennsylvania. Thanks to Kamala Harris, eggs are about 115% higher. That's more than double the price than when she took office. And I got three little kids, my friends. We buy a lot of eggs. So I'm pretty pissed off at Kamala Harris over the price of eggs. We, when Kamala Harris took office, since then, three and a half years, gas prices have gone up 35%. Energy has gone up 40%. And it's not just Kamala Harris's terrible economy, of course. It is the wide open southern border. The borders are caused it, and we can't let them forget it. That's exactly right. It is an invasion of this country, and we can't let folks forget that it is deeply connected to what's going on at the when it comes to the economy, what's going on at the border is deeply connected to what's going on. Now, 